So uh, today, you know, uh, well, you'll be you'll be going to the Football Hall of Fame, like you mentioned. You know, uh, how does that you know feel? You know, what is that event going to be like? You know, how do you really feel about that? Even though it's months away, how do you feel about that? Uh, I just I found out about about three months ago that that I was going to go to the College Football Hall of Fame. Um, it's like the greatest honor you could ever have as a coach. When I happened, I when, when I first opened this box up and it had this, you know, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Uh, my house. I mean, I just, I, I, but I cried off and on for the next two days because uh, I just never thought it would ever happen. And uh, I'm still so honored. Uh, I have to say this: that um, you know, what, what what a coach does is he unites people, trains people, trains to be better people, to be better competitors, and all the things that we did within our program. And those guys and my coaches are the ones that deserve. You know the recognition for winning. I mean, I, I was just a, you know a component of that, and so. But I'm deeply, deeply honored, and uh, it'll be emotionally very difficult for me to get through it. If you saw me th today in those presentations, I was sitting back and I was wiping tears from my eyes, and so uh, I'm not as tough as I used to be when I was coaching. <laughs> They tried to surprise you with this. Huh? They tried to surprise you with this. Yeah, I heard. I heard about this late. Uh, but the one I'm talking about is that when I found out I'm going in the Hall of Fame sure. when they sent that thing. Sure, sure, sure. That was. I mean, that was just overwhelming. It's hard to even describe. And you know, how does it feel to be um, to get honored? You know, years now from being at Mizzou. You know, it's amazing. Like all, all day, I've been hearing that. You know, a lot of your players took a lot of lessons from you. You yeah. know, just you know that they actually use them. Like you mentioned, their, their businesses, their life. So how does it feel to just still get honored? You know, years from being at Mizzou. Well, you know, that's what the Hall of Fame is. That's just you know you have to be out so often, and then it's, it's, it's very difficult to get in. But you know, these players that are here. We had a bunch of players here that had no idea they were going to be here. But my players, will, I think they were all vouch for one thing, that we wanted to win bad, but they also understand that, you know, it's about, you know, coach is going to, in this program is going to help you be a better young man, it's going to help you be a better father, it's going to be a, help you, um, you know, be in every part of your life because of the things that we did and we, we helped with our kids with. And, and so I'm so thankful to them because, you know, if they don't walk on board, you don't win the level we won. And, uh, you know, I'm deeply honored. Deeply honored. Did today's kind of events make mean more, given that they originated from a former player? Yeah, I know Curtis really, I know all those guys real well. But Curtis is, uh, you know, he's serving down here, which is awesome. He's serving his communities, and uh, uh, yeah, of course it is. You know, I, I, I see my guys. You know, they're, they're, you know, we hug together, we we cried together, we, you know, won games together, and. and and to see them all, you know, doing well, you know, families and, hey, coach, I'm using this in my business. I'm using this thing. I got this thing hanging up. My, I talk to my, my people who work for me all the time about this. Or I, I, I'm doing the same thing with my, my son and, and daughter as far as competing and, you know, having a good attitude. I mean, they keep, they keep going on and on and on. I just, it's just overwhelming because it's, we, we didn't, there was not any thanks for winning football games. It was about, it was about being a... A, a better person, and I could I could do use these things to help myself be a better father, better husband, whatever. And and then um, just to be clear, that was Curtis Gregory over there on the um, house. It's the it's, it's the beard. Yeah, the beard. Yeah, yeah. His name, but his name is Curtis Gregory. Curtis Gregory. Yes. So you know, um, I think I just touched on this earlier, but you know, to hear those kind words from him when he introduced you over there, um, you know. How did that make you feel? Well, you I see your play doing some big things now. So. I, I I I was sitting there and I just was I mean. I just had tears. I mean, I, was, I had tears. I, I tried to be disguised the best I could, but I'm sitting there going like this and, and everything else. It's just, it's just very emotional because you, when, when especially football and it's probably other sports too, you, you so much work goes in to, play, you know, developing to be a great player and all those things. And, and there's ups and downs, which is one of the great things about sports that makes you a better young man or a better young lady if you're in sports. And, but my point is we've all been through a lot of great times we all th went through the, the tough times, and we learned from both. And my business, if you win enough games, you can keep your job, so I was fortunate enough to be able to do that. Do you think in sort of today's era, with given more transfers, that sort of thing, would it be more difficult to make those kind of relationships with your players? I, that's a very good point. That's a very good question. You know, I, I uh, uh, you know, <laughs> the portal, and you know, can, anytime you want, you can leave at least one time. Um, you know, one of the great things about sport is you get knocked down and you got to get back up and what what I'm hearing from a lot of people is uh, you know a student athlete didn't like what happened and all of a sudden you know, I'm out of here 
well, that isn't the way you, you, know, you learn, you deal with it, it makes you a better person. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I, tr I struggle with that a little bit. I think the money is, is important, but the way it's run, I, I, I totally disagree how it's being done. You know, it's just the team that gets the most money is probably going to win. Um, that's what it's going to be. The NFL has what they call a salary cap. And all, all 32 teams have the exact amount of money. College football has nothing like that. You can, you can the rich are going to get richer. And I'm, it, just, it just really, I hope they kind of get their stuff together and kind of figure out a better way of doing it. Um, what do you feel like uh, your legacy is? I don't know. I don't really think of myself like that much. I just, I just, uh, I, I would say this, that I've always been surrounded by good people my whole life. I always have. And my entire life. I mean, I go back when I was in, when I was in grade school. And that's, that's been a blessing. Uh, and I would like my players, if, if I was fair and honest with them, and that they learned things, to, which we talked about before, they, they learned things from our football program and from our coaches um, uh, to be better people. That's ultimately, these guys got jobs, they've got kids, and uh, it's, it just, that's, that's the deep meaning of you know, how important, that's why they call you coach. You can do those things. Uh, one more, uh, two more questions, sorry. Uh, Earlier today, you know, I heard a lot of your, I heard you emphasize, you emphasize that, you know, um, education was more important than playing football. I believe it was uh, Curtis. Every, education really was more important than playing football, even though you did both. But you made sure your players got their education. Yes. Um, you know, there's not, you know, I played sports when I was younger, and many coaches don't always emphasize that Yeah, they don't. But well, the fact that you were able to do that, you know, how do you feel like that really shaped your players? Well, that's that's the responsibility. That's part of the responsibility that you have. And if you, you know, we're recruiting a player and say, if, you're just, if you think you're just going to come and play in the NFL and just kind of school is just going to be something you're going to do it here or there. It's not. That's not how we're going to do it. We don't do that here. You know, you're going to be committed to you know academics just as you are to football. And and in the end of the day, it's going to you know it'll it'll pay off. Uh, and so that's to me that's really um, I'm very proud of that um, because that's that's me and our program and coaches and everybody working together to make each other better.